Welcome to this week's Torch Update. I'm Alex Footman, Editor-in-Chief of The Torch, Ferris State University's one and only student newspaper. In campus crime this week, Ferris's Department of Public Safety removed a non-student for illegally tattooing. The incident occurred at 2.20 a.m. on September 21st. Officers found a subject tattooing without the proper licensing in Kramer Hall. The subject was removed from the university. On September 20th, at 12.15 a.m., there was a report of a fight in West Campus Apartments. The subjects were separated and referred to the Office of Student Conduct. On September 19th, at 2.30 p.m., there was a report of a bicycle vehicle crash in Lot 27. The bicyclist received minor injuries. Now, for the week's ticket totals. From September 19th through September 26th, the Department of Public Safety reported 471 violations. Each violator was ticketed for a total of $8,190. The actual amount depends on if the ticket was paid, reduced, or voided. Switching gears, the university is forced to make a $2.1 million budget cut due to the decline of student credit hours on campus. Student credit hours on the Big Rapids campus are down 2,277 hours in comparison to recent years, specifically in the College of Arts and Sciences. Ferris Communications Director Mark Sheehan said the majority of cuts will take place at the college or department levels, and the hope is that the average student won't be impacted. Ferris President David Eisler has formed a task force which includes students to discuss the issue. That's all for this segment, but for more Ferris-related news, check out The Torch on newsstands now. New issues come out every Wednesday, and every edition is also available on our website, fsutorch.com. You can also like The Torch on Facebook or follow us on Twitter, at fsutorch. I'm Alex Whitman, Torch Editor-in-Chief. Thanks for watching this week's Torch Update. Keep reading, Ferris.